Hi, my name is Baron. Welcome. In today's lesson, we'll learn how to use proxy and how to apply pen and scan effects using Final Cut Pro 10. Okay, I've got more goodies to show you, so I will go on to my uh, import media over here. I will look for a clip that is already in my hard disk. I will bring this in. I will leave it in place because it's already in my hard disk and not in a memory card. So I'll bring that in. Okay, this is a uh, really cute girl over here, little girl. Now before I insert this new clip in here, I'd like to create a little gap between the clips so that when I insert this in, it will mix up with the other clip. So I'll insert this new clip in by pressing E. Okay, it inserted it at the end of my timeline, my project. So let's see. Okay, so look at this. Look at the framing of this of this video. Um, there's a lot of space on the left and right, which is great. It's a, it's good for a wide shot. But I like to go right up close to her because uh, as she blows the bubbles, this a, this is a very very cute action. So I like to go go in close. So I'll select the clip first. Go all the way down in my inspector and I'll click on spatial conform none. Okay, nice. So I've gone real close, so close to her, so I can see all the cuteness of it. But hang on, look at that. Play back. We've cut off so much of her head. Okay, what, what do we do here? We can do a pen and scan. So I will go over here to the more or less the beginning of the clip just before she blows the bubbles and then I'll set my position and my scale keyframe all right and then I will play back okay over here because we've cut off part of her head there's no head room at all now I'm going to click on my transform and I'll pull this image down look at that look at it wow beautiful 4k I love you okay I'll click done now let's watch Blow the bubble, blow the bubble, see? See how we managed to bring back the footage down? Look at that. So if we didn't have a pen and scan, uh, the headroom would still be not enough to frame her. Okay, now she's going to insert this uh, little thing into the bubble container. And now we'd like to have the white shot again. So what we need to do is to set the position and scale keyframe playback and over here this is where it ends so I will set my scale to 50% that is the size for HD when you're editing 4k and look at that the frame is off so I can reposition it back but I'm not quite sure whether I whether I will be covering the edges or not so I'll just set my position to 0 for X and 0 pixels for Y so there you go click done and when you play it back, blow the bubble. All right, and we go for a zoom out. There you go. So that's another trick you can do when you're editing 4K, which is pan and scan, or also known as the can burns effect. All right, one more, one more last one, and then we'll go on to other stuff. Okay, now I have a Quite a cool footage over here and that is number 99 99 mm, this is something you all love cute animals here you go mother and child okay let's import that in leave in place leave in place and import okay I don't want to put the clips too close to each other so I will just set a gap by pressing alternate W Got a gap here. So let's have a look at this clip. Monkey, okay, my looks like my computer is beginning to jerk a little bit when it comes to playing back uh, 4K. So in instances like this, I can always go and transcode media and choose proxy media. So let's do a proxy. Now this is a good chance for you to see how I'm going to edit 4K using proxy. So uh, when I play it back, watch, watch when I play it back, jerky, 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 jerky. 
right? Okay, so that was playing back using Optimize. So I'll turn that to proxy. Just go down to your viewer over here, your viewer, go to the upper right hand corner, go down to proxy and watch what happens. You have missing proxy over here. Why? Because I did not transcode this. This is the little girl blowing the bubbles, remember? So I did not create a proxy media, but that's okay. I don't need this to be, you know, this one I don't need to be. I don't need this one to be proxy as well. So I just want to play back the monkey really smooth. I just want to play back the footage of the monkey really smooth. That came out wrong. <laughs> see, look at that. It's still smooth. But if you look really close, you can see that uh, this footage isn't such high quality. But that's okay. For presentation purposes, it's still all right. Okay, mother and child, look at look at that. This is a silver leaf langur. Um, the child is orange when it's really young, and as they grow up, they become silverish, silver leaf langur. Okay, now I'm going to insert this all the way at the end. Press E. Okay, let's play it back again from the timeline. Okay, I do need so much of this. I'm going to trim this. Trim, 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 trim. I'm going to trim, okay, I'm going to trim from here. So alternate left bracket. Let's play this back. Oh, so cuteness. Okay, now, as you know, as you can guess, I'm going to go to special conform over here and I'm going to choose none so that I can go right up close to the, to the infant. To the little guy over here. Okay, next. What am I going to do? I'm going to do a little bit of repositioning. Uh, I'll undo this. Look at that. The mom's head is being cropped off. So I'll just do it like this. So both of them are more or less in the center. So when I play it back, there you go. Really nice. Now, at this point, you can see when I have zoomed in my well not really zoomed in because when i have put my 4k at 100 percent its original size you can see that the proxy isn't turning out so well look at the baby's face now if i want to turn that off i turn off proxy i go to optimize you will notice that the monkey's face uh, her child is much sharper now okay now let's go back to proxy again see you lost all the details Right? But when I go back to my optimize or original, yeah, the face becomes much clearer. So what I'd like to do next is I'm going to color grade this. So I'll go on to my color correction and then I will go to my exposure and I will reduce a bit of my highlights. Uh, let's increase a bit of the mid-tones. Uh, well, the mom's face is really, really dark. so. If I reduce this, uh, you can't really see a face. Next, we'll go to saturation. We'll increase all the all the values here, and then we go to color. Now let us go wild a little bit. Okay. Okay, and then I will go to my mid tones. I'll give it a bit of warmth, a bit of warmth over here, and then my black. Let's reduce a bit of the blue. Oh, too much reduction in blue. Okay. There we go. So let's compare before we do the color correction. Look at that. Look at the child. In real life, the child is really vibrant. So I'm going to click my color grading on. So check that out. Well, that's it for this lesson. My name is Baron. There will be an interactive menu coming up for you to select a lesson that you'd like to follow. Thank you for watching. See you again in the next episode.